everybody with Needham Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing from my hometown track, Penn National Race Course, Cranfield, Pennsylvania, on Friday night, September the 30th. And this is my day at the track.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race three this evening, folks. 6.49 p.m. Eastern Post Time, six furlong sprint on the dirt track. Three year olds and up rates for an optional claiming purse of $34,000. Contenders number one, Majestic Blue. Number two, Frontier Warrior. Number four, Radiohead. And number three, The Last Wave. Number one, Majestic Blue is the overall speed and pace profile leader in this optional claiming field tonight, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt. Nice early speed abilities to complement for this sprint. He's turned in a quartet of power runs in his last five outings including power run wins in both his last start as well as in his fourth race back. Jockey William Otero and trainer Stephanie Beatty sent him postward tonight. They've whacked the tote board with 58% of their entries. Saddle as a team to date. Number two, Frontier Warrior has hit the board in four of his last five starts overall, winning three times in this recent streak of racing consistency. Race 3 summary, number 1, Majestic Blue, tops my contenders list tonight, which also includes number 3, Frontier Warrior, number 4, Radiohead, and number 3, The Last Wave, 1, 2, 4, 3, and the third from Penn National. A couple of bonus long shots for you to ponder tonight. Let's go to Hoosier Daddy Park in Indiana, race 2, number 4, Chow Wagon, 8 to 1 on the morning line, qualifies as a Trackmaster plus Power Pony, drops in class by 2 units, the overall speed leader in this claiming field, spring at 6 furlongs on dirt. Finger Lakes Race Course, upstate New York, race 3, number 4, Lord Jet, a 4 to 1 shot, better speed spring at 6 furlongs in the favorite, number 3, Mandate. So from Penn National on a Friday night, Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.